All right, everyone, I started the recording. I'd, I'd like to thank you for showing up for this explanation. Thank you for training kids and, and meat science and meat identification. And thank you for logging in to this, this meeting today. Should be sharing the emergency rules that the CDE board put out on June the 9th, 2020. They worked on these rules for a couple weeks and then we put them out on the 9th. We will follow the similar rule format as if we were having an in-person contest. We'll have 30 retail cuts, but we've extended the time to 60 seconds per item. You have a special situation with Meet ID because you don't have to have a printout with all the numbers for the ID portion. It's already embedded in the scorecard. But since you may be clicking back and forth uh, with two screens from the actual sample to the scorecard, we, we added a little bit of extra time there. We'll give kids 10 minutes to place a class. I will display those classes and I'll show you how we'll do that in just a second. Class will be represented with a picture of each retail cut and a close up. So Wayne asked me if we were able to do that. I went back through today and looked at what I have and, and the only thing the judge that put this together sent me was a picture that looks like this. Yeah. Yeah, I see him now. That's OK. Better. That, 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 that was my fault. Every every time you share your screen, you got to tell the, the software what screen you're trying to share. So thanks for letting me know. So this is a class of, of this will not be on the state contest. This is a class of some center slice that was we used on that practice contest earlier in the summer. And what I did, Wayne, is I, I broke it down into pairs. Can you see that one? One and two. And yeah, then two. That, and that, yeah, that works. That, 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 that'll that That'll be good as far as comparison and whatnot. Yeah, so I'll show them. I'll show them that and then I'll just go back and leave it here. I mean, we got 10 minutes. They can. Uh, yeah, uh, that's plenty of time. That should that should plenty be plenty of time. Of time. To, now for the questions, questions class, are we, are we still going 20 over that one? Let me look minutes. at the rules. Let me it's let me reshare. Minutes. Let me stop sharing and reshare the rules because I can't. Remember any little detail like that. Let me see. All right, questions class, 20 minutes, yep. OK. Questions that'll be asked. To take, that'll be giving time to take notes and whatever they got to do and stuff. And like right, that. right. Okay. We'll, we'll identify the question class and we'll present it. I've converted all my PowerPoints to PDFs. It's just easier to present in a PDF format, but that doesn't change the quality of the materials. Um, we'll have a test of 30 questions. We'll do the questions first. We'll do the test first. Um, that allows us to finish the contest at the same time. By finishing the contest at the same time, when the kids submit their Scantron, I can actually go to judging card and watch the Scantrons come in. And if there's an issue, which hadn't had, we have not had any issues yet, but I'd like to be in control of when those scorecards are turned in, and I'd like to account for every student's submission of the scorecard. That's a lot easier to do if we end at the same time. So we're going to start with the test. Um, if kids finish sooner than 30 minutes, then we'll start the other the other documents uh, earlier. Yeah, we'll talk uh, this. This rule was written before we really had the electronic Scantron down. That that system is beautiful. Judging card, one picture box, four specimens to compare them against each other. Two different viewpoints for each retail specimen. That's kind of hard to do. On the retail well, it was, mostly, it was mostly for the rows because the rows sometimes you got to see the side view to really determine what, what they really are. Just I'll, a, just I'll a, reach out. I'll reach out to the person that sent me these pictures and see. These aren't pictures you can find on the internet. These are from a, a contest that happened in Denver a couple years ago. Okay. Uh, I'll see if I can get that. And I'll do the best I can. But most of the time, uh, when they do, con if it's a competition contest, a lot of times they'll show the parts that you got to see, you know, yeah. to identify them, whatnot. This this uh, this guy's a pretty prominent meat ID. He's got a master's in meat science from University of Nebraska, and he, he's trained a lot of teams. So I think he knows to to show you what you need to know. OK, cool. The event. So I will stop sharing my screen and. Um, field any questions you guys might have. All right, practice with your teams on those demo scorecards that I shared. The, the online scorecard will look just like that. And I will see you guys next week. Is it next week we have Meet ID? Yeah, next uh, thir uh, Thursday the 9th. 
next Thursday. I'll be looking forward to it. I've already got the uh, I've already got the PowerPoints ready to go, and I'll be looking forward to seeing you guys. I'll open that room an hour early so that folks can uh, log in and, and get their teams ready. I guess I need to share. I've, I've done these all day, so I may, I may be getting a little bit. Eric, I do have a question, though. When yeah. do we share, okay, now for the kids to log in or, or to go in, do we share the email, the link that you have with them and then they click on from there? Yeah, one link. You got to share it. Um, That's the link that you are, gave Are us. your kids coming into the... They're coming to my school and they'll do, do it together good. in my classroom, yeah. Good, that's that's preferred. You don't have to come into school to do it, but it's preferred. I'm going to share another document. Wayne, I know you've seen it. Eric, Eric Zach, I know you've seen it today, but uh, I want to put it on the video anyway for somebody that may watch this later. Um, this is kind of preferred. If you look at the top picture, I can see the kids' side view. I can see their screen and, and what's in their hands, and I can tell if they're on their phone. Uh, and I can tell if they're flipping from tab to tab trying to cheat. This view, the second view where I can only see the kids back, this is not preferred. I made the teacher set this up just as an example uh, for you guys today. This is not what we want to do when we monitor kids. You can have kids socially distant and, and monitor up to four of them with one monitoring computer. This is a kid that was working from home and he used uh, his phone to monitor himself from the side. Once again, I asked the kids, I need to see your hands and your screen. I, I, I told them to turn off their camera that looks at their face. We don't really need to see that. Here's another good prime example of what it should look like whenever, whenever we're monitoring him cleanly. So make sure you got an extra computer to monitor those kids from the side view as we take the exam. I'll be logging in an hour early to, to set all that up. And uh, it'd be best if you guys logged in pretty early and started checking in with me and, and get the kids set up and ready to go. Um, and that way we can we can start promptly about one o'clock. So I'll stop the recording uh, unless you guys got any other questions. That'll be it. Good. Yeah. Sounds good, Eric. Cool.